welcome, welcome back. This is Art and Culture Monday, of course, with me, Karen Blessing. And thank you for your amazing company because Nini Waseni Wanguvu. There is already feedback pale Facebook, so I want to get to it before we jump right into our first lounge. And Kiari Shiko, thank you, darling. And Asuma, good morning. Uh, Karen, you look amazing. Thank you so much. On my way to the office, and this is my go to show. Thank you, thank you so much. You are welcome to Art and Culture Monday. Bilhan Jerry Karanja, and Asuma, good morning, Karen. Good Good morning to you too. Watching from Kiambu. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bilha. Thank you for tuning in. Andy Melissa. Nasema morning, Karen. Watching from Nyahururu. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. Uh, all of you are welcome. I'm going to be getting into much of your feedback as the show goes on. So feel free. Leave in your likes, your comments, anything that you have to say. Basically, say it to us. And we are going to be interacting with you in a short bit. Right about now, it is a few minutes, actually just a minute to 8 a.m. Our first hour is already gone. It has flown by so fast. And I have my first guest. She is young. She is beautiful. She is doing amazing. And she is here to show you what she is capable of doing, even as we have the conversation around nurturing talents in kids. I want her to introduce herself this morning. Good morning, dear. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, introduce yourself to guys at home. Tell us where ni nani, unaitwa nani. Why are you here? And then we will jump right in. My name is Mary Wairimo Mbogwa. Yeah. I come from Kiambu. Yes. I'm an artist. Yeah. I do canvas painting. I'm 19 years old. I was schooling at Gedongosho Secondary School in Nyahururu. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is... Yes, this is you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Apparently, guys from the comment section, there's a guy from Kiambu, there's a guy from Nyahururu. Are you guys here because Mary is here? But... Anyway, thank you for being here. That is Mary, and she has amazing, amazing talent. I want us to get to know her, Kidogo. You cleared. When did you clear form for? April. April. 19th. So April 19th. Oh, wow. This year, April 19th. And by August, you are already breaking the glass ceiling. You are doing great. When did you start painting? Uh, okay. I started. First, I started with drawing. Yeah. I was drawing cartoons mm -hmm. on the paper. Yeah. And then during the corona period, uh -huh. it gave me a chance. I started with the wall painting. Yes. And then to the canvas painting. Yes. I used my internet mm -hmm. to get some tricks about it. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of hard to try it alone. Yeah. So I had to try out some some techniques mm -hmm. that I got from YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So you would actually say you're self-taught. Yeah. Like no one actually, you know, came and taught you how to, to paint. Yeah, how how is it, you know, having YouTube as your teacher? How, how is that whole experience? Okay, like it's great. It's amazing because mm -hmm. when you want to learn something with passion, you'll have it. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Ah, amazing. So she is self-taught. She is only 19. You are 19 years old. Like yeah. I cannot wait to see what happens in the next five, uh, ten years. So you started drawing uh, using cam canvas. So is that the only now? Is that the drawing you decided to concentrate on? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't know. You're not no longer drawing pencil using pencil to draw or graphite or pens canvas. Why did you pick canvas? Because canvas is a bit. Okay, it helps someone to experience what you like. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to put something on on a paper. Yeah. I prefer using paints mm -hmm. because I love colors. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> amazing. Are, are paint, uh, what would you say is more challenging, using paint or using graphite pencil? I think using graphite pencil is... is it's challenging, harder. yeah. It's, uh, more to challenging. Me, to yeah, me. to you. <laughs> okay, and I'd like to ask, because it is paint that you're using, what happens when you have made a mistake kwa, kwa PC yako? Is there a way to correct it? Yeah, I can uh, use, as I said, mm -hmm. I love colors. Yes. So, like this one, mm -hmm. it's a mixture of colors. Yes, and it is looking amazing. So, the when I make a mistake, mm -hmm. I figure out another way to... To just rub it, use it another color. Yeah. 
Yeah. Art. So to just add another color. Yeah, this is pure art. So you don't really like um, rub it off, but rather like make it part and parcel of whatever it is that you're drawing. Mm. Amazing. How how long does it take for you? Like that uh, painting that you're going to be drawing to be finishing up right here on set. How long does it take you to do a whole canvas painting? Okay, like starting like this piece. Yeah. Because of its size, mm -hmm. and get. It can take me five hours mm -hmm. yeah, to complete it. Yeah, five hours yeah. only? Yeah. Like I thought you were, you were going to tell me about two, three, four days because no. uh, that is a, that the is size, a big the size. The size matters. Yes, the yeah. size matters. So even for a smaller piece than that one would take you yeah, less time? Less time. And a bigger piece than that? Maybe a whole day. A whole day. Yeah. So that that depends. It is um the size of the of the canvas is what depends on how long you will take. Yeah, what about the mixture of colors? Like if you're just doing a black and white, is that easier than a piece that has more colors? Like you see when you're doing black and white, yeah. you need grey, you need white, you need the black I think that one is a bit uh -huh. it takes time. Ah, it because takes a bit you need more to mix time. the colors. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, so okay learn something i hope you guys at home are learning something it's apparently harder to do a black and white because it, it needs a lot of and then i think it needs a lot of synchrony with, between the gray and where it's supposed to be darker and lighter you guys are amazing um so um what interested you in canvas painting like what uliangali any painting what uh, inspired you to start doing your painting like there's this one g guy yeah. called Patrick Mukambi. Mm -hmm. He's located at Village Market. Uh -huh. He's a very nice artist. Yes. Like uh, a day I saw his his work. Yeah. And it interested me, yeah. and I had to look for him. Yes. Ah, yeah. so you went and looked for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At then Village. What market. happened? How did that go? And uh, he helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. He told me my mistake. Yes. He corrected me and he advised me like and I I had that passion mm -hmm. that I wanna do arts. Yes. My because my parents do yeah. support me a lot. A yeah. Lot. So would you would you say that Patrick Mukambi played a very you know huge role in your growth and development as an artist? A very large role. Yes, I think this is this is where we take the opportunity to applaud and applaud Patrick Mukambi based in Village Market. You are doing great. Thank you for nurturing such talent. I want to know because we are talking about kids and talent. How were your parents? Were they supportive about you? You know, drawing and everything. They were very supportive. Mm -hmm. My parents, the, as in, they provide everything. Yeah. Like dad, I need a painting. I need to do a painting. And he asked me, what do you need? Yes. And I'm like, I want paints. I want the canvas. And yeah. he surely do it. Yes. My Amazing. Mom, would, you, would you mention their names and give them a shout out? Because they are doing great as far as talent development is concerned. My mom, I'm, I'm sure she's watching. Yes. She's called Rebecca Njoki. Yes. My dad, I'm sure he's also streaming live. Yes. Uh, he's at work. Yeah. He's... Joseph Mbogwa Kanyeve. Yes. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Mom and dad, uh, Baba and Mama Mary, thank you. Thank you so much for nurturing such talent, you know, and just making sure that you have focused on your kid's passion and what she is ready to do. And as you can see from the painting, guys, she is doing well. As, a, as just been 19 years old. This is work that is being done by artists who are, you know, of all ages. Some artists who are even 30, 40, 50, and she's doing it, doing it at just 19. So uh, kudos to you. I want to know, um, is this what you're planning to do? You just cleared form four. Have you had that conversation? Because up and for Tunanzanga Kukosana na Wazazi. So have you had that conversation? What do you do, what do you want to do in campus or don't you want to do campus at all? You want to focus on your painting? Okay, I want to do art as a career also, yes. and also I want to do film production as a career. Yes, uh huh. Two careers. Yes, okay, all right. And right now, yes, I'm acting. I'm yes. an actor. You are acting. Yeah. Okay, where are you acting? I'm acting at Jason Chronicles. Yes, a movie named Harley, mm -hmm. and another one coming soon named yes. as Last Man Standing. Yes. 
Yeah. Amazing. So you are also acting. Your parents yeah. are also supportive in you this venturing in all this. Yeah. Yes, I think like I think guys at home, this is like the perfect age, you know, to try out everything. Mary wants to do film production, do art as a career. At the same time, she is acting. Like I mean, these are all channels of getting out all her energy in good and innovative, and most importantly, ways that I can actually give her money. How? When did you start acting? I started acting during when I was in high school. Yes. Yeah, I was a very good actor. So you are in the drama club. You yeah. are those drama club girls that you can, you know, that so has has that helped? Is that paying number one? Because that you have already you are already in a production. Is that paying? Okay, it's paying mm -hmm. because we sell our movies. Yes. Yeah. Ah, and the payments um, trickles down to back to you guys. Yeah. Ah, would you like to shout out guys in that specific in that acting, you know, yeah. um, team that you are with? Please give them yeah. a shout out. Shout out to Jason, the head of cameras, mm -hmm. the production manager, Akina Jason, Akina Sin, the one the ones we worked with, Akina Masi. And they, they are doing a great work because it, the acting we are doing is yeah. supported by parents, by the way. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Like we ourselves, mm -hmm. we just, you you discuss, you go to, into a meeting, what do you need? We need a painting. Mary, will you provide with a painting? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We need a, we need a, a house. Yes. Yeah. Go ask your parent if you can use your house. Like oh. it's a parent based production. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. This this like um uh, synchronizes very well with our topic of discussion today, which is parents helping their kids nurture their talent. And I think your parents and the parents of the teammates that you work with are doing awesome. I think these are some of the parents that we ought to shout out. Where is the um where is the acting uh, where is the acting team located? Mukwa. It's located at Rui. Rui. Yeah. You guys, parents in Rui and with kids in Rui who are diving into acting and you guys are supporting them and at the same time nurturing their talent like Mary's painting talent here. You guys are doing amazing. Big up to you all. Keep, keep at it. All right, keep at it there. So uh, behind me, there are some beautiful, beautiful pieces of painting that you can see different sizes and shapes and uh, and everything. And I want to know what inspires, like what? why did you draw this particular piece instead of anything else? What what inspires your pieces one by one? Okay, like I'm inspired by nature. Yes, nature. I love nature. Uh -huh. Like how you, something reflects, mm -hmm. like in the ocean, the trees, how they reflect. If you see a lot of my painting, yes. it's about reflection. Yes. Another word is about tradition. Mm -hmm. Tradition, tradition is is ours. Yes. It can never change. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even if you are going to the modernity, we can never change. Our traditions remain yeah. our traditions. Yeah. And what what a beautiful, fresh set of eyes to look at traditions. You know, we are very passionate about this because this is art and culture Monday and we find the art in culture and the culture in art so Mary you are a perfect fit like you are a perfect fit for art and culture Monday what do you hope uh, what 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 is the uh, future look like? what does the future look like for you in the last uh, in the next 10 five years as you look at your art where do you want it to get to I want it to get to a point where I'll have my own garage mm -hmm. Ooh, all right. my own production uh -huh. yeah support anyone mm -hmm. anyone who would want to draw or paint mm -hmm. uh, regardless of where you come from yeah like just encourage people you the motivation is the only key yes yeah if Amazing. you have passion and motivation yes you can go anywhere you want yes you yeah. can do anything you can you do want, anything guys. you can I go think, anywhere yes yeah. Guys, you're hearing it from the horse's mouth with passion and, of course, the push. You want to put in the work. You can definitely go anywhere. I want you to tell me what inspired the piece that you're having right there, the piece that you're going to be completing on set. Tell me what is remaining, what inspired it. Give me the story of that piece. Okay, like this piece, I, l I love doing lions. Yes. Oh. I have one piece in DCI headquarters. Yes. On ah, the reception, main amazing. reception. All right. Yeah. Yes. I love doing this because it represents the country. Mm -hmm. The country has a lot of tribes. Yes. And in it, mm -hmm. we need 
proud and very brave people yeah. to survive. So like the many colors yeah. represent the tribes mm-hmm. and the lion itself represent the braveness that you are supposed to have to in order to go to the other step. Yes. Yeah. Ah, amazing. What is remaining on that specific bit? Okay, I need to do some colors. Mm-hmm. I just love mixing colors. Any color. A yeah. shooting color. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Guys, she is going to be completing that here on set before we ask what piece she is leaving behind for Art and Culture Monday because that is what we are all about. I want to know, are you selling your pieces? Yeah. Do sell mm-hmm. How pieces. much do your pieces go? Okay, like for this one, mm-hmm. it goes for 5,000. 5,000. Yeah. Is that um, uh, because of the size or because of what you have drawn in it? Yeah. The details mm-hmm. and the size also. Ah, so matters. the details and the size. So yeah. give me the price range for your uh, pieces, most affordable going up. Okay. I do it from 5,000. Mm-hmm. That's the lowest I go. Yes. To as as far as it can go honestly yeah. you feel like we will put in a gallery Mary, Mary's gallery is going to be coming up and we're going to be paying as much 100,000 150,000 i mean if anything i have seen out there is to go by and galleries out there people are paying massively massively and guys this is talent she has not been to class yet Maybe she's going to get into class to get it as a career, you know, to perfect, to smoothen the edges. But she has not been to class yet. Imagine what your kid could be able to do if Mary can do this at just just 19. Imagine what your kid could be able, you know, could be able to do. Who do you look up to, uh, Mary, as an artist? Okay, I look up to Sheila Sheldon. Mm -hmm. I think the girl is only 13 years. 13, uh uh-huh. And the Patrick Mukambi. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. I think Patrick, Patrick, we need to look for Patrick Mukambi yeah. and just, you know, give him a big shout out. Invite him to the show to come tell us how we, are, we, we should be actually creating opportunities for such young people. Um, I want us to, I want um, to know as we close uh, where we can get your pieces at, like Mdu Akiona piece na apende tuneza ipata wapi and how do they pay and how do you get the painting to them? Okay, if you want a piece, yes, you can find me on my. I have a page, mm-hmm. Mirimbogwa Arts, at Facebook. Yeah, you can just uh, WhatsApp me or DM me there. You can also call me, I deliver. Yeah. Yes, amazing guys! All those sets, uh, all those handles you have had, reach out, uh, reach out to her. Let her like, let her invest, invest in such young talent. And honestly, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to hear. I cannot wait to hear or to see her in the next two, three, four, five years. She's going to be finishing this specific set, uh, uh, painting on set. Before we discuss what painting she is living on Art and Culture Monday. So right about now, I think Mary want to give you the opportunity to finish up the piece. Yeah, thank you. Um, also, um, as of course she does that, we are moving to chess uh, championship. And Kenyan youngster Odongo Luanga continues to shine in the ongoing online chess tournament, recording three wins and losing one game out of four played. While Samuel Wanja, uh, Wanjala sharing a spoil with, uh, with Maria Silva from Brazil, Emi Mutua and Loris uh, Minange displayed disappointing performance under girls' category, with Emma drawing Bulgarian Denis uh, Lebedin. Loris lost uh, from Scotland. Under 14 champion Odongo Luanga's star continued to shine in the ongoing World Cadet and Rapid Online Tournament. The young star won his three games of beating highly rated Daniel Safarov from Georgia in his first game before aging out Taleb Mohamed from Barbados. He, however, lost his third game to Joachim Florita before launching a comeback to beat Thailand's Baron Biorak. Um, every game is tough. One challenge I find is keeping my time in check. Um, the players are coming from all over the world. These are people who've trained with grandmasters, international masters. So. And the girls' category, Emi Motua, shared a spoil with the Dennis Lebedings from Bulgaria, while another Kenyan, Laurisha Minage, lost to Nivedita Suyala from Scotland. Um, it's tough, but 
I can manage. You can manage, yeah? Yes. Yeah, you drew today your game. How was the game today? Um, it was fair. It was, it was okay. The tournament is expected to end on August 30th, 2021. Kenya filing 30 players in the tournament with the task now upon the likes of Odongo Langa to carry Kenyans with pride as the tournament draws closer. Ojong Mariam for KUTV's Prime Time News. Amazing, amazing. We have uh, some plenty of feedback on the conversation that we are having with Mary and you guys are loving her into you. Uh, King Marv on Facebook and Asma, good morning. Uh, uh, Marv tuned in from Thika, loving the show. Mary Mbogwa is the talent. Thank you so much. Geoffrey Minor Laundry and Asma, classmate on the show. Good job, mommy. Good job. Of course, she is doing great. Um, King Marv is talking, uh, is saying, talk of multi talented. Yes, she definitely is. And Keshi, Anasma, please say hi to Mary Mbogwa. She has been a good friend to me and a classmate. Big up to you, baby girl. Big up to you. And Bimpo Life um, is saying, Mary, good job. Yes, you guys, she is doing amazing. She is so talented, multi talented. She is acting. She wants to get into film. She is, you know, she is drawing right now, as you can see and she is doing amazing Mary I, I want to know I want us to talk about your technique kidogo like um, say the types of paints that you use what would you advise what are the best types of paints to use on a canvas painting I think the best paints to use yes. are acrylic paints mm -hmm. such as this one yes these are the best qualities mm -hmm. the, and then there is the faber crystal mm -hmm. They are the, also the best quality that yes. I would advise someone to use. Though they are expensive, a bit yes. expensive, yes. they are the best quality. Yes. You can never regret. Yes. Yeah. But you you have to, you know, like you have to invest. I think keep on painting, <gasps> feel free to keep on painting. But yeah, guys, if you need something to actually pay, you know, invest in it. Get the best quality there is so that those paints are not dripping all over the place. Those paintings are not, you know, they are not um, all over the place and they are they are presenting something that you can actually pay for without feeling like, you know, may be worse. So Mary is doing great. She is continuing with her painting right there. The conversation that we are having is on nurturing kids' talent. And Mary's parents are doing amazing. From wherever you are watching us from, congratulations to both of you. You are doing amazing. And even all the parents who are supporting their filming team and they are filming, you know, they are filming in Y. Congratulations to all of you. I am going to be having my next guest shortly so do not go anywhere you are going to enjoy this one as well can you see like the color the splash of color the fr uh, the fresh eyes and blood you know that is just there mary is doing such a fantastic fantastic job and i'm excited for her and right about now though we are going to enjoy mary's painting and after that we'll go for a short break we will be right back
Yes, this is Mary and she is doing what she does best. Uh, I would like to talk Kidogo. Mary, um, I, I want to know what was the most challenging part of that painting? Like Nigani, ulichukua, you know, a bit more time to draw in that specific uh, painting? The, the eyes. The eyes. Yeah. Uh, why, why are the eyes challenging? There is... Okay, you, you need to get a light blue color. Yes. And also... A lighter blue. Yes. Okay. And also uh -huh. the white, and you need the black. Yes. Also on the next eye, mm -hmm. you see, I need a lighter green. Yes. And also a lighter green. Yes. And the white. Yeah. And the black around it. Yes. So how how long does it take you know to for you to perfect the eyes area? I think it takes like about a whole hour to do about the two hours. Yes. The two eyes. Yes. Yeah. So about an entire hour. Like, do you like um where? What is the mood? What mood do you like for your painting? Like, do you paint alone somewhere? Ama do you paint? You know, jua inje mahali. Just to I, I just like a quiet place, a place that where I can feel my painting. Yeah. Like I need the the time alone. I don't want to concentrate on other things. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I need a place alone. Yeah. I do my arts. You need your peace and quiet. Yeah. Um. What is your most favorite piece of the pieces that you have drawn? In your, in your, this one is in your heart. Like the Goad one. Yes. The Goad ah, painting. Okay. Okay. It was my first uh -huh. painting on canvas. Yes. And it helped me to see George Kenoti. Yes. Yeah. Ah, it is actually the, the, the painting that actually helped you to see guys at the DCI. Guys, I want you to take a look at that good painting and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I, I Yanni, you have touched my heart. Uh, Mary is still going to continue uh, drawing, but for now, I want to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to have another conversation on the lounge, but Mary is still going to stick around. So stick around for social media handles. She is going to repeat them where you can get her pieces. But right about now, we're taking a, another short break. We will be right back.